fan, first time so visitor. Uh, I basically have been watching it so much on the internet, I feel like we've been dating. And, so much. Uh, I really fancy you guys in person. So it's great. Um, I, the reason that I'm here, I, also, these are my notes. I really hope it's not too shocking. Bear with me if it is. And um, also, nice to see so many Guy Foxes out and about. <laughs> um, uh, but the reason I'm here is because I want social justice and I want society to change now. And I don't want to sit around waiting. I want to take action for it to change. And, oh, jazz hands and everything. Thank you so much. Um, I feel like I am of a generation. People my age and younger have had things stolen from us, right? You, you, um, you arrive into this world when you arrive. It is not our fault that our public services have been stolen from us to be sold on, have been cut, have been slashed. It is not our fault. It is not our crisis that we're paying for. It is not our fault that going to university for us has become prohibitively, hor horribly expensive. It is not our fault that we can't afford to buy houses and to be lectured by members of parliament in their 40s and 50s about how fair and progressive what they're doing is, is sickening to me. Um, we're a generation who happens to take on so much more debt than the people who uh, are our parents and grandparents and they are trying to sell it to us like it's our fault and I don't want that to be the case and I'm getting all emotional and I'm not going to be able to make my points. Um, but the, uh, yeah, I, I sort of want to tell you about something that I've been up to in the last month and then I want to uh, talk about public space. Um, last month, me and a group of friends uh, from UK and Cuts and musicians and comedians, we hired a minibus and we went round the country to places that people slag off as dumps. And we brought with us a stage set and we brought with us the lights of the minibus. Yep, you're right, you should move that one, it's really in the way. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hi. Um, we, what we did was we brought a minibus and we brought um, a stage set and we went to places like the Isle of Sheppey, which is universally slagged off as a rubbish place to live, completely unfairly, right? And we turned on the lights, we put up the stage set and we performed to teenagers. And we performed on it about anti-cuts, basically. We spread the message that they are not alone and that this government is affecting everyone for the worse, right? And then um, what was really fantastic about it was, firstly, I, I wanted to make the point that um, nowhere in this country is a shithole. Nowhere in this country is not worth living. And when people behave like there are places in this country you should be too scared or too sickened by to go, they're not helping because we're all together, right? There's no them or us, there's just us. And we have a responsibility to one another. And that is why going to these places like Sheppey and meeting 13 year old kids who didn't even know what the word politics meant but who knew that their youth centre was being cut. The only place that they had to go was being taken away from them. That is how I know that these cuts are completely wrong and completely uh, unjustified and unhelpful. Public services are what's needed to level us out. Public services are what's needed um, to make... Oh, I've got scared again. Jesus, it's so hard to speak in front of you guys because I'm intimidated by you. Um, uh, no, it's fine. <laughs> but um, this, is, this is what I wanted to say, basically. Um, I don't own anything. I don't own a house. I don't own a car. I have, okay, I have £16,000 worth of student debt rising every single year because I can't afford to pay it back. What I do own and what I consider to be mine are public spaces and public property, right? Public buildings, public services. These are things that I have paid for over the last 10 years as the taxpayer and I want to pay for. It's not a question of like, well, you know, they're taking my money. No, I want collective ownership of public space. I don't want sinister, privately owned PFI initiatives to own these things. I want a society where people pay a fair amount of tax, a high amount of tax if you're super wealthy. I don't want a big gap between the poorest and the richest. I want everyone to support one another and to say these things are ours and life is richer and more important than austerity. Um, I think austerity comes from the arrogance of these people making these decisions. Our government right now have had everything they wanted their entire lives and they do not give a fuck because they do not understand. I'm so sorry. They do not give a damn because they do not understand what it's like. Um, okay, um, so what I say is, take their arrogance and take their audacity, but use it for good. We have to behave with the entitlement that they do. Uh, don't tell us we don't have the power to change things, because we do. Thank you. I hope that's <laughs>